Welcome friends to the weekly outlook. Boone here from Elliott Wave Pro. Uh, this week it's going to be pretty tough trading. Um, if we look at the DXY dollar index, last week you'll see that I was after, I'll just get my pen. Last week I was looking for this wave up here. Now we did get this wave, um, but I was looking for it to go up and break this top. It never got, got up there um, to break that top. Instead, we're getting moved down. We've got it. The MACD is crossed down here. So I'm looking at this as a contracting flat in here. So I'm looking, like I said last week, I'm, I'm looking at this as a B wave. So we've got a B here. So this is the A and a C. So we've got an, an A, B, C in here. Then I was looking for this A, B, C here. Um, we got that, but it didn't go up and break this high. So, and we got the cross down now. So I am looking at it as a contracting flat. So we got an A, a B, and we're getting this C down. I want want it, want price to really go down and break this low, um, to give us something to trade. Um, so then we get that larger uh, A, B, and C. We can see that we're in uh, a channel here. We're in this channel. We're in this downward channel here. Um, so that's why all the majors. I'm not going to bore you with going over all the majors because we're really in the middle of nowhere. You can see we're in this channel and we're basically in the middle um, of the channel. So if we look at AU, um, we got that Z up, we got the bearish divergence and last week, we got this trend line break and I was just looking for a correction in here um, to sell. Now, we never got that. Um, instead, it's sort of giving us uh, another bull flag up here on the lower time frame. So if we go down to H1, and still look at this as, So I'm looking at this as a W, X, Y, and we get this, uh, we get another X like this. And then we get that Z up, up here. And then we give us that A, B, and the C down. So, Really, you can trade this Z up. Um, it's going to be risky because we have to wait for the time factor here. So you, you have to wait, um, wait for it to uh, do whatever it's doing in here. And then you can scalp the Z up. Um, I'll be more interested in the sell. I'm more interested in that larger C down sell um, than the buy. I'll wait for the trend line break. Little bear flag in here to sell. So I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not going to bore you with going through all the majors because there's nothing really solid to trade on them. If we look at the UCAD, um, we can see that we're in that channel. We're, we're in a channel here. Um, so you can look for the sell down to the low of the channel. And then if you get a bounce off the channel, it uh, gives you a ball flag in here. Um, you, you can look for that buy. Um, or 
if you get a cell in here um, and it comes and breaks out of this channel, gives you the bare flag in here, well, then you can look for the larger cell. Um, so that's why I say it's, it can really go either way. Um, we really need to see if we get a bounce off this uh, channel um, or if it breaks through the channel in to give us that direction. So instead of trading the majors this week, um, I'm, I'm gonna show you the uh, S&P 500. Um, I think this is the better trade because it's, it's pretty much the same as RU, but this B wave in here looks a lot nicer. Um, we're getting a lot nicer B wave in here. So we got the bearish divergence. So I am looking for the correction. We got the trend line break. Um, we're getting that correction in here. And I'm looking to trade that C down. So if we go down to H1, you can see that we got this A, B, C. We got bearish divergence in here. We're getting bearish divergence. We got a little bull flag break here. Um, if you're in it, yeah, fine. Um, you know, I'd be looking to take some profit at the 100 fib here. It is possible that this top does get broken and we go up to the 123.6, but it still will be the B wave because we will still have this bearish divergence. So we've got this A, um, B, and I'm looking for that C down. I'm looking to scalp that C down before we get more upside. So um, you'll have to go down on the lower time frames, M15, wait for the trend line break, bear flag, and then you can sell. So that's what I'll be looking for this week. To trade Bitcoin Bitcoin's looking pretty much exactly like I said last week it, it's playing the game nicely we got uh, last week I think we were up in here somewhere I said you can sell for that X2 down just the scalp and then we'll be looking for that Z up we got that Z up and price has bounced clean off of this 161.8. So that's perfect. And then we got this impulse down. So we're looking for, I'm looking at this as the A and then we get whatever happens in here, a uh, correction. Um, it might just be a simple A, B, C, internal A, B, C. In here. But I'll be looking for that larger, C down before we get any more upside. So that's what I'll be looking for on Bitcoin. Bitcoin's playing really nicely. We've got that Z up, nice impulse down. <coughs> Excuse me. Look for the uh, sell. Um, look for the wait for the correction. Whatever correction we get in here, um, wait for the trend line break, flag, and then sell. Sorry about that, I had to just grab a quick drink. So yes, uh, Bitcoin, I'm just looking for this, whatever correction we get in here. We don't know what sort of correction we're gonna get, but whatever correction we get, look for yourself. WTI. Looking really nice. We got this uh, bullish divergence in here. A lot of bullish divergence. We got the Z down. We got the trend line break. And we're getting a little bull flag. Bull flag in here. So I'm only looking for the buy because we have that bullish divergence. I'm only looking for the buy. Um, you can see my targets here, 30, 
38.2 and the 50 fib as your second target. Um, if we go down onto the H1, we're not, we, it's looking like a bear flag at the moment. So it's going to be really risky. This, this can be a, a flat for more upside. So we get an A, B, C in here. We have to be really careful here though. Because if we have a look here, we've got W, X, Y, X, Z. Um, the time factor isn't there at this stage. So I'm looking for... I'm looking for this. The time factor isn't quite there. So that's why we're looking at, we're, we're getting sort of a bare flag here. So you have to be really careful. The only way you can trade this at the moment is if you put a buy stop just above the top. Um, that way, if it does become a larger correction, it won't tag you into that buy. If it does come and tag you into the buy and then just sits up here for a while, well, you can take break even um, because more than likely you'll get that larger correction before you get the more up move and you'll be able to get a better entry. You should be able to get a better entry um, a bit lower. But as we can see, um, this is looking like a bear flag. I wouldn't be selling it. Um, if you want, you can look for that scout um, just to break that low. Um, very dangerous. I'm only looking for the buy. Um, but yeah, minimum we should get this Z up. Should get this, probably one more down here, then get the Z up, then get a larger correction, something like this before we get more upside. Um, so that's what I'm looking for over the next couple of weeks um, to go up to those targets that I showed you. Um, take a quick look at gold. Gold didn't quite do what I was planning on um, last in last week's weekly outlook. Last week we, we were down here. Um, and I was looking for price to come up and just break this top and then come down here, give us a bare flag. And I was looking for that sell for A, B, C. Now, price come up, gave a correction, and then went up again like this. And um, so it's, it's, more, it's looking more like a triangle. So we got a, a, an A, a B, a C, a D, an E. So looks like we're getting a, an E down. Now there's two scenarios here. Um, to trade the triangle, we need to wait for the break, wait for E to be over, um, get a trend line break and a ball flag out here. Um, break of the bull flag and you can you can buy you, you definitely want to be moving to break even as soon as this top gets broken um, so that's the first scenario is if if it's a flag um, you can look for that buy the second scenario is this is a this is the b wave in here and we got an a b C for a contracting flat, and then we get that A, B, C. So if price comes down, breaks this low here, the wave C low, then gives us a bare flag where we can look for that cell. Um, and we're looking for this as a, an A, <coughs> a B, and a C. So we are looking for that larger C down. So 
ideally we get this scenario here and I get that cell. I'm really only looking for the cell because we're at, we're at a high. So I'm really only looking for that cell. Um, that'll be the safest option to if we get the cell set up. So that's pretty much it for this week. Um, s and I'm liking. B, Bitcoin, I'm liking. Uh, WTI, I'm liking. And if I get the sell on the A uh, gold, I'll, I'll look for the sell on the gold as well. Like I said, I'm not going to bore you with all the rest of the majors because there's really not much happening on them. Um, they're really uh, in the middle of nowhere. There's no clear setups. So, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please share, like, subscribe. Um, the more subscribers and the more likes I get, um, the more in depth I'm going to get into the analysis. Okay, so um, yeah, spread the word and it'll help everyone. Okay, enjoy your week, trade safe, and I'll see you out there.